Four-year factory stocks are champion last year. The seven of Jewett leads them down, but here we go. As the flag flies, Marshall Jewett, your leader, the 16 or 18 car of Wayne Brooks. In that second spot, Cletus Murray now works his way up into third. So Marshall Jewett on lap number one as they come by. Brooks, here's the 05 of Nickel as he fights back. Dave Nickel in that third position now. Murray slides up back into that fourth position. This will be lap number two. Jewett on the high side, looking for some moisture down there on the load side is Brooks. Brooks, part of that group that came over for the first time here. Number of drivers from the Atchison area. That's the Pops Racing Stable. That number 18 car, but Marshall Jewett, still your leader. He's using the high side right now. Brooks on the low side. Dave Nickel just behind them. This will be lap number three as they go by. Marshall Jewett, Brooks, Dave Nickel, Cletus Murray with Carriers in the 99. There's your top five cars. So again, coming out of four, Marshall Jewett. Comfortably in the lead now with about an eight to 10 car lead as he gets a little bit loose high up in turn number two. Brooks, Wayne Brooks hanging on to that second position. Here comes Cletus Murray now. He goes side by side. So there's where the race is right now on the track. Oh, and we have Carriers go around in turn number four. That should bring out the first yellow flag halfway this time. Still going, so good job by Kerry Ayers in the 99, but he loses three position and positions that moves him back. So is this lap six? Lap number six, Marshall Jewett. Still Brooks in that second position. Cletus Murray now. In that third spot, Dave Nichols still trying to Push him out of turn number two, Masukovic. In that fifth position. So there's your race leader. On lap number seven, Marshall Jewett pulling away from the field. Wayne Brooks again in that second position. Cletus Murray, that's been a good battle between him and the 05 of Nichols. In that top four, Masukovic right in behind them. And then the 37 of lane two and Carriers in the 99. It'll be one to go next time across. This is lap number eight, comfortably in the lead. Marshall Jewett. So Marshall Jewett in that seven car as he comes out of turn four. He'll bring the white flag out. Yes. White flag continues to fly, but the checkers will fly here. Coming off of corner number three into corner number four. Now your race long leader. He picked up a heat race win. Out of Gardner, Kansas, Marshall Jewett becomes the first winner of the 2018 season of racing on the river's edge. 30 years here at Lakeside Speedway. The 18 of Wayne Brooks will bring it home in second, followed by the 21M of Cletus Murray. Good run there by David Nickel in that fourth position. Nickel finishing up here. Marshall Jewett. All right, Marshall, if you could come over just for a few quick words. Hey, we made this. We made this kind of a uh, a repeat last year. Uh, you were our, our track champion last year, but uh, tell you what, you look good, strong tonight. Really hasn't changed. It looks like the high side was pretty strong for you tonight. 
Yeah, the high side's always just momentum. Keep your momentum. So it was real good. Car ran okay, so it's good. Got lucky. Got lucky. Got lucky, as he says. Congratulations, Marshall Jewett. And remember, over on the terrace. Eight. All right, our second main event of the night is your Grand Nationals, KC Shields and Don Mars. Bring him to the line, looking for the Terry Watlin Green flag. We have it, here we go. Good run up front for Nick Newton, KC Shields and Don Mars into corner number one. Mars on the high side, Nick Newton down low. They're all giving chase to the 42C of KC Shields out of Kansas City, Missouri. Lap number one down on the hub into corner number three off of corner number four who will lead lap number one. It looks to be the 42C of KC Shields, your pole setter. Nick Newton right there chomping at the bit, knocking at the door in the 7-Eleven. Three car breakaway up front. Look out over there. Contact in the wall. The 29 of Dennis Melvin Sr. A little bit of contact. I don't think too much to hurt it. One car slow deep in the field here. That is the 69 of Stephen Dibbins. Stephen Dibbins in the 69 now re will retire from the event. So the 69 is off in this one. No change up front as the 42C of Casey Shields out of Kansas City, Missouri maintains that lead. A three car breakaway. Top three. Then the fourth, fifth, and sixth cars all together as well. Coming around lap number three. This is lap three of ten. Seven more laps to go. Don Mars now tagging the wall here off of corner number four. Mars keeps it together. Holds on to that third spot behind Nick Newton. I thought Nick Newton was going to get up there and challenge for the lead. But too strong is Casey Shields out of Kansas City, Missouri in the 42C. It leads lap number four. Six more laps to go. So a couple different lines on entry here. I'm looking at the lines the drivers are choosing. Casey Shields on that low side entry. Nick Newton choosing that middle lane on entry into quarter number one. Stays through that middle lane here off of corner number three and four. Looks like gained just a little bit. Five laps in at the halfway point. Five down, five to go. Newton again enters on that middle lane. Casey Shields down low, Don Mars. Trying to hang on to that low side. Just not enough grip there for Mars to hang on. Nick Drew hanging on to that fourth position. Good run back there for Nick Drew in fourth. Dennis Melvin Sr. still fifth. And the 8C of Cammie Bruner back there in sixth. Shields leads another lap. That's six, four laps remain. Still no change in the distance up front. Nick Newton searching around a little bit that time. Change lines coming off of corner number two. Dove down on the low side trying to dime in the corner in between one and two. Now way up on the high side here in three and four. You got to give him credit. He's trying to find a line to reel in race long leader. Casey Shields at lap seven, three to go. So starting to spread out just a little bit, down to just a pair of laps to go here at Lakeside Speedway. It'll be the white flag next time by for Shields, Newton, and Mars, your top three. Everybody spread out on the speedway. Again, no change here as we come to the white flag to finish up our Grand Nationals. There'll be one more lap to go this time around for Casey Shields, your leader. Terry Watlin with the white flag in hand, one to go to finish up our second main event of the night. Nick Newton in that second spot. Mars still third, no change there. Fourth, the 15, having a good run there in fourth, is Nick Drew. Dennis Melvin Sr. and Cammie Bruner will come around just in front of your leader off of corner number four. Drivers out of Kansas City, Missouri. Give it up for Grand National winner, Casey Shields, your winner. Into that second spot, it's Nick Newton. Don Mars will bring it home in the third position, followed by the 815 machine of Nick Drew in the fourth spot. Dennis Melvin Jr. will finish fifth, and Cammie Bruner will bring it around and finish in that sixth position. But your winner here tonight will be the 42 of KC Shields. Good run there. Nick Newton in that second spot. Don Mars was third. Bring it around. Corner number four. Coasting way up on the high side to say hello to the fans down here. Many of them. KC Shields brings it into victory lane. Going to do a U-turn here. Look out now. Look out. Don't want to take out the lakeside pace truck, KC. Sam Shields, your winner tonight!
Go ahead. You sure? Yeah. There you go. Hey, you go. Thanks. Great run tonight by Casey after he got into that top spot. Hung on to the lead. Great run tonight. Dad calls him Cam. We so I'll call him Casey Cam Shields. Groundworks Lawn Care, first response to Extreme Colors, Hoodlum Fabrications, first response to Arvest Bank. Price Right Market, Jules Concrete Construction. The win tonight is, he had some wins last year as well. So, Casey Shields. All right. There you go. See if we get a few in with them. Casey, congratulations, buddy. You had that thing on a line tonight, and I tell you what. That was a great run. How did the track feel to you tonight? Oh, it was, it was a blast. I loved it. I, I knew it was going to slick off, and I didn't know what that car was going to do, but it handled like a dream. So I am i couldn't thank my dad, every, all my sponsors, the fans, everybody coming out. This is great. Opening night, it's awesome. All right. We appreciate you. You had some feature wins last year. Off to a good start this year. Congratulations. Great national winner, Casey Fields. As they come into turns number three and four, your e mods here at Lakeside Speedway tonight, and here we go! Green flag flies were underway. Stockton immediately to the outside, high down in turns number one and two gets a good run up there, fighting back on the low side. Belt nap in the thirty-three looks like the five J of Goffrich. Oh, and we have a car goes upside down on the back stretch. Red flag will come out. I believe that's Goffrich. Down from Lincoln, Nebraska. Green flag flies. Here we go. Green flag is out. Another problem back here on the backside in that number three. Younce. Blaine Younce in the three Y as he Gets loose out of turn number four, but back to your leaders as they're coming out of turn four. Here comes Spillman down to the low side. Spillman, he will be your race leader on lap number one, Billy Spillman. So Spillman takes it down, but fighting back here. Belknap on the low side in the 32. So good race up front here so far, but it's Billy Spillman, your race leader here on lap number two. So Spillman in the 63, Belknap in the 32 in that second spot. Looks like it might be Mercer in the 13 now coming down on the low side as they come out of turn number four, but it's Spillman. Mercer up to third now. Rowdy Burns to the outside. He's in that fourth spot. Stephen McCarr in the four car. There's your top five on lap number three. So the 63 of Spillman picks up where he left off last year as your track champion. Here comes Mercer now. Mercer on the low side comes up into that second position. Belknap now is trying to fight back out of turn number two. Four laps down. 11 to go here for your E-Modifieds here at Lakeside Speedway. Racing on the river's edge here tonight. So Spillman, Mercer in the 13. That's lap number five now. Belknap, Burns, and now Mulek, Jesse Mulek in the 90 car up into fifth. Jesse Mulek out of Bonner Springs. 
local driver here, raced here last year as well. Good battle up front now between Mercer and the 63 of Spillman here on lap number six. As they get side by side, coming out of turn number two, Mercer makes a good run on the low side. Gets a nose right out in front of Spillman in the 63. So Spillman having to hold off that 13 of Mercer. Mercer finding something down on that low side. Here comes Mercer. He is halfway this time as your race leader, the 13 of Mercer. Chris Mercer out of Excelsior Springs. Spillman trying to fight back. He slides in front of him in turn number four. Look out. Comes to a stop here in turn four. Look out. Yellow will come out. So the 63 of Spillman comes to a complete stop. Mercer as your new race leader. Woo! That was a tight one up there, Sam. I tell you what. As for your E mods. Mercer on the back stretch. Tell you what, keep an eye on that 58 car of Whitney. The young driver is showing some good moxie here tonight. Down on the hub on the low side, coming out of turn number four. Belknap. That's lap number 11. So Mercer, Belknap. Whitney, here comes Spellman in the 63. Look out, fans. Here he comes. All the way from the tail end of the field after he spun out, but here he comes, challenging for third. Now it's the 63 of Spellman. Whitney now moves up into second, the young driver in the 58 out of Lincoln, Nebraska. What a move to the front of the field as well. But right now, Mercer in the 13 is your race leader. This will be lap number 13, so two to go. White flag comes out next time. So Mercer, Whitney, here comes Spellman trying to move up a position here. Belknap trying to hang on to that third spot, fighting off the 63 of Spellman, but the white flag comes out for Mercer. Mercer in that number 13, followed by Whitney, Belknap, the 63 of Spellman, and Raj, Rowdy Burns, your winner tonight. It'll be Chris Mercer in the 13. Whitney, Belknap, Spellman, Rowdy Burns, there's your top five. I'll, I'll talk a little bit until you get down there. Okay, thanks. But good job to get to the front of the field. You had some tough competitors up there. Yeah, there's a lot of good cars here tonight. Um, to be able to run door to door with Billy Spillman, it's unfortunate that he spun down there. I would have liked to have got to run side by side with him. Um, this track's kind of intimidating. I've never been here before and it's real big, so I was just kind of trying to stay smooth and hit my marks tonight. I tell you what, you did a great job as well out there. You did look very smooth out there. You did a good job. I know you have a lot of people that help you on the car. Yeah, the first and foremost, got to thank my wife, Erica, and my son, Aiden, are here tonight. Uh, got to thank Randy and Dana for letting me keep the car in their garage. I got to thank my dad for being here every week. And got to thank Fastlane Racing Engines, um, TNA Trucking, uh, HD Disposal, uh, McLaughlin Fabrication, and uh, Shelton's uh, Flooring, and, and then, yeah. <laughs> All right, great job here tonight. Chris Mercer, your winner with the E-Modifieds at Lakeside Speedway. Not bad for first race ever here at Lakeside Speedway, your winner tonight. All right, thank you very much, Alan. As a celebration...